friends my today's topic is comparison of indian and international numeral system as i said it should be numeral system it should not be number system in each and every video i am telling you this okay so this is the first one is our indian number system so indian number system we have their places ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh crore ten crore can you observe me uh, the way i am reading i am giving pause one second you can see that once tens hundred give a pause it means first comma will come after three uh, digits then thousand ten thousand give a pause second comma will come after two digits lakh ten lakh give a pause again next comma will be after two digits crore ten crore okay so this is the proper way of reading this place value chart so thoroughly once again i am reading this once tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh crore ten crore it means when we will read this so it's very easy for a child to keep it in the mind first comma after three digits other commas after two two digits now next one is your international number system same way i am going to read this one stage hundred give a pause first comma after three digits thousand ten thousand hundred thousand give a pause second comma will come after three digits million ten million hundred million so next comma will come again after three digits so once again i am reading thoroughly one stage hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million hundred million so this is your international number system and i told you what is the proper way of reading this uh, place value chart now here you can see that i have drawn one line over there so this line indicates that till here both the number system indian number system and international number system is same till 10000 after 10000 in um, international number system we have 100000 and indian number system we have lakh okay so we are we can continue like that now one more thing you can see that i have made one arrow over here and i have written increase by 10 so you can see that whenever we increase towards the left hand side for one place increase by 10 here t means 10 10 h means 100 100 so when we will move one step to the left hand side so 10 into 10 will give you 100 similarly when we will move one place to the left hand side over here so 100 multiplied by 10 will give you 1000 so this way when we will increase toward the left hand side the value increases by 10 the next place value increases by 10 and if 10 to 1000 we will talk so 10 into 10 will be 100 times so this concept we are going to use to solve question from exercise 1.1 so in the same way if we will move towards the right hand side your value increases by 10 the next value will increase uh, will decrease by 10 so left hand side increase the value by 10 right hand side we will go the value decrease by 10 i am just talking here the next place okay so uh, here lakh How many thousand? Hundred thousand. Ten lakh means one million. One crore means ten million, and ten crore means hundred million. So directly, if this relation is given, so we can write down. If direct relations are not given, so we need to find how many jumps we are doing, and according to that, we can fill the blanks. Okay. So let us start with the first question. One lakh is equal to ten thousand. One lakh. So keep finger on one lakh. Then ten thousand. This is your ten thousand. So lakh and ten thousand. You are just jumping one side. So ten lakh is equal to ten ten thousand. This is already ten thousand. This is ten thousand. This one jump will tell you ten. So what will be the number? One lakh is equal to ten ten thousand. Come for the next one. One million. So keep your finger on one million and hundred. Thousand. This is your hundred thousand. 
So only one chunk is there. So we will write one million is equal to ten hundred thousand. Come for the next one. One crore. So keep finger on one crore is equal to ten lakh. This is your ten lakh. So only one jump is there. So we will write down one crore is equal to ten ten lakh. Next one is one crore. So again keep finger on one crore. Then it's million. So one crore is equal to directly you can say that they are asking about the million. So below one crore, how many millions are there? Ten millions. Million is already written over there. So we will write down the number ten. Sometimes direct relation is given, so we can do comparison directly. Now next one is one million. So keep finger on one million. How many lakhs? One million is equal to here. You can see that up ten lakh. So write down just ten. Now next one is. Hundred million. So keep finger on hundred million. Then how many lakhs? So hundred million is equal to ten crore. Now lakhs means you need to find out how many jumps are there. One. This is two and this is three. So what does it mean? Ten multiplied by ten multiplied by ten. So here we are multiplying ten multiplied by ten multiplied by ten. It means your answer will be thousand lakh. So this is the way. Sometimes you need to find out how many jumps are required. Then accordingly, accordingly multiply by ten into ten into ten or ten into ten, and then you need to fill the number. So this is the way we can do comparison of Indian number system and international number system. Whenever such type of questions are there in your rough column or in your right margin, just write down these places one above the other so that it will be easier for you to do the comparison and then write down the answer. So thank you for watching today's video.